Late one evening, Elliot sits in his car, waiting for the traffic lights. A pesky fly buzzes around his face, irritating him. He swats it away impatiently. Out of the blue, he receives a strange phone call from an unknown person who offers him $1,000 to eliminate the fly. Elliot, perplexed but intrigued, complies using a sheet of paper. Moments later, he's astonished to find a credit notification in his messages. The caller then bizarrely instructs him to devour the dead fly for an additional $36.22. Initially dismissing it as a joke, Elliot, upon confirming the money in his bank account upon returning home, decides to take the bait and consumes the insect. True to the caller's word, $36.22 promptly appears in his account. Soon after, Elliot receives another mysterious call, this time officially inviting him to partake in a series of 13 challenges. Completion of all challenges promises a reward of $5.7 million. Having successfully tackled two challenges already, Elliot now faces the daunting task of completing the remaining trials within the next 36 hours. Another option is presented to him, to leave the game and keep the money is earned from the previous challenges. However, Elliot finds the lure of quick cash too tempting to resist. Recently unemployed as an insurance salesman due to his unwillingness to deceive customers, Elliot feels the weight of responsibility for his dependent father, mentally disabled brother, and pregnant fiancé. Determined to shoulder their burdens, Elliot decides to continue playing. The caller outlines three strict rules. He must keep his involvement secret, refrain from interfering, and avoid investigating the game. Any breach results in losing all rewards, and quitting midway means losing everything. The following day, while enjoying a picnic with his fiancé's family, Elliot receives the caller's call. The third challenge, to make a child cry within five minutes for a reward of $5,000. Elliot scans the park and spots a girl heading to the restroom alone. He falsely informs her that her parents have abandoned her, prompting the frightened girl to burst into tears. In an instant, $5,000 enters Elliot's account as he swiftly rejoins his parents, anxious about potential detection. Within half an hour, he hurriedly departs the park with his family. Shortly after, at a church, Elliot learns of the fourth challenge, to incinerate handicrafts crafted by blind children, offering a $10,000 reward. Following instructions, he ignites the crafts in the yard, attempting to douse the flames with a broom upon receiving the credit notification. Unfortunately, his efforts backfire, igniting the curtains and escalating the blaze beyond control despite futile attempts with a fire extinguisher. Forced to trigger the alarm, Elliot flees the church with his fiance. Upon exiting, a homeless individual approaches him, coinciding with the arrival of the fifth challenge, stripping the homeless person of their clothes for victory. Elliot discreetly dispatches his fiance and complies with the request. Subsequently, he receives the sixth challenge, a benevolent task, treating a solitary individual to coffee for a generous sum of $50,000. Following the caller's directives, Elliot arrives at the man's residence, only to discover the man's lifeless body in the bathtub, having been there for an extended period, rendering it immovable. Unlike swatting a fly or disrobing a homeless individual, transporting a deceased person to a coffee shop poses a logistical nightmare. Overwhelmed with panic, Elliot grapples with the dilemma when his phone rings once more. The mysterious caller reassures Elliot, explaining that the man ended his own life, and Elliot merely needs to transport him to the cafe before 4 p.m. and place a coffee in front of him. Failure to comply permits Elliot to exit the game, relinquishing all earnings. After deliberation, Elliot agrees and dresses the deceased, escorting him to the specified establishment. With the deadline approaching, tension mounts as police officers occupy the neighboring table, leaving Elliot apprehensive. As the clock ticks, the waitress serves the coffee, astonishingly prioritizing the officers. Glancing at the dwindling time, Elliot realizes he has a mere 15 seconds remaining. With no alternative, Elliot seizes a coffee cup from the officer's table and places it before the body, fulfilling the task and promptly receiving the $50,000 reward. Relieved but drawing suspicion due to his peculiar actions, Elliot faces questioning from the police. Observing a flask on their table, he exploits the situation, warning the officers about the repercussions of drinking on duty, leveraging the threat to secure his release. Once outside the restaurant, he receives another cryptic call, commending his bravery and quick thinking, rewarding him for two completed challenges and presenting the eighth challenge. Shortly after, Evan halts before him, the masked driver beckoning him aboard. Presuming it's part of the challenge, Elliot complies. En route, the caller discloses that the authorities have been alerted by the girl from the park and the homeless man, and he's wanted for arson at the church and mishandling a corpse. 
However, winning the game ensures the dismissal of all charges. Realizing he's in too deep to turn back, Elliot begrudgingly accepts the continuation of the game. Soon after, he finds himself at a motel, entering room 8 to encounter a former high school classmate who had once bullied him. As they reminisce about their childhood, a woman dressed as a nurse enters, setting up a plastic sheet on the floor and producing a saw from a case. Simultaneously, Elliot receives a call disclosing that this challenge is an opportunity for revenge, offering $10,000 for severing the bully's right arm. Initially hesitant, Elliot is stunned to learn that the bully is also a participant and must undergo the same ordeal. Provoked by the bully's taunts, Elliot, fueled by rage, ultimately amputates his arm. Subsequently, he rushes both the bully and the severed limb to the hospital. Still seething, Elliot encounters the bully's brother, who had also tormented him in the past, and assaults him with a chair, resulting in a payout of $250,000. The realization dawns on Elliot that assaulting the bully's brother constitutes his ninth challenge. That evening, he hosts a lavish engagement celebration using the money he earned. Just before the festivities commence, he receives another enigmatic call, unveiling the next task, sabotaging the party by breaking at least 70% of the tableware while singing and urinating in a flower pot. In return, he's promised $500,000 upon completion. Elliot hesitates, mindful of his absence from home for two days and the strain it's placed on his relationship with his fiancée, who reluctantly agrees to reconcile for the sake of the party. However, she warns him that any mishap might lead to a breakup. Unexpectedly, police officers arrive at the gathering, not for Elliot, but for his brother, who had recently frightened a girl in a park due to discontinuing his medication. Understanding the situation, Elliot devises a plan. He urges his brother to flee while he pretends to cover for him, smashing objects and singing to divert attention, even urinating in the pot publicly. To further distract, he feigns suicidal intent with a fork before making a swift exit. Upon evading capture, Elliot receives instructions from the caller to return and surrender to the authorities, then escape from the police station. Additionally, he's informed of a surprise awaiting him beneath a chair in the interrogation room. Realizing another player has completed the same challenges, he's spurred to hasten his efforts to win the game ahead of them. Complying promptly, Elliot finds himself in the interrogation room, discovering a steel pipe concealed beneath a chair. Seizing it, he ambushes a police officer entering the room, commandeers their firearm, and leaps out of a window to freedom, consumed by a single-minded determination to claim the grand prize and secure a better life. After his escape, he anxiously anticipates the next call, encountering an elderly woman walking alone at midnight, an unusual sight. Intrigued, he follows her home, where she requests assistance setting up a steel wire as a washing line, which Elliot promptly obliges. Upon completion, Elliot receives a message confirming the twelfth challenge's accomplishment and the reward of one million dollars. Astonished by the ease of the task, he's incredulous at its simplicity. Driven by curiosity, he traces the wire's path to find himself in the middle of the road, where a group of bikers approaches. Realizing the danger, Elliot hastily removes the nails securing the wire, averting a potential catastrophe just as the bikers zoom past, unaware of the peril they narrowly avoided. As they halt nearby, Elliot overhears one of them discussing the ease of earning a hundred dollars and the next task at hand, prompting Elliot's realization that they too are participants in the game. As the bikers turn back, Elliot realizes the dire situation unfolding and attempts to intervene, but it's too late. The other competitor, having completed the same challenges as Elliot, sets up a wire across the road, resulting in the gruesome decapitation of all the cyclists. Elliot finally grasps the grim reality. This isn't merely a game, but a series of lethal tasks. Determined to renounce all rewards and withdraw from the ordeal, he seeks to convince the other competitor to do the same, fearing the unimaginable cruelty of the final challenge. Spotting the competitor fleeing in a car, Elliot impulsively gives chase, only to discover the competitor halting in front of his own home, sparking a sense of foreboding. Inside, he's startled to find his father listening to music, while his brother returns with a suspicious bag in hand. Shockingly, Elliot learns that his own brother is the rival competitor, having concealed his participation under the guise of illness. Inquiring about the 13th challenge, Elliot's brother chillingly reveals its sinister nature, to kill a family member. Their father then discloses his own past involvement, admitting to orchestrating their mother's demise to claim substantial rewards. Overwhelmed with grief and rage, Elliot struggles to come to terms with the devastating revelation. Shocked to learn his mother's death was no accident, but rather a murder orchestrated by his own father, Elliot aims a gun at him, 
torn between seeking vengeance for his mother and winning the deadly game. In a surprising display of composure, his father admits to a life filled with remorse and guilt, cautioning Elliot against succumbing to the monstrous nature of the game. Encouraging Elliot to break the cycle of violence, his father implores him to withdraw from the game and takes his own life by slicing his throat. Now, Elliot and his brother stand as each other's sole remaining family members, realizing that to win the game, one must eliminate the other. Reluctant to harm his brother, Elliot persuades him to abandon the game and surrender together, condemning the creator of the game to face justice. However, his brother's determination to continue leads to a fatal confrontation as he reaches for weapons in his back. Acting swiftly, Elliot shoots his brother in a moment of desperation, only to be consumed by regret as he tends to his sibling's wounds. His brother's revelation of joining the game to procure a wedding gift for Elliot touches him deeply, but the moment is fleeting as his brother, overcome with remorse, turns the blade on him, inflicting multiple stab wounds. Fortunately, the wounds prove non-lethal, but shortly afterward, Elliot's brother succumbs to his injuries, resulting in Elliot emerging as the victor of the game and claiming the promised bonus. True to the caller's word, all charges against him are dropped, including those involving complicit police officers. However, when a law enforcement officer arrives at Elliot's residence to eradicate any remaining evidence, Elliot takes matters into his own hands, fatally shooting the officer in defiance of the rules, thus forfeiting his winnings. Unfazed by the loss of the money, Elliot is consumed by a desire for retribution against those responsible. In the closing scene, Elliot's fiancée receives an invitation to participate in the game, with the reward for consuming the dead fly raised to $6,000. Elliot is relieved to see his fiancée dismiss the invitation, symbolically discarding the fly into the trash, signaling their refusal to be ensnared by the game's malevolent grip. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thanks and see you again soon. Take care.